You wake up and start your day with a healthy breakfast. You tell yourself 20 times that this day is finally gonna be the day you stick to your goals. You're gonna eat right, work out, and finally start that business you've always wanted to start. And day one is full of motivation. It's full of ideas and aspirations without any actual work. Day two comes and it's supposed to be your chance to finally take action. But you miss your alarm. You think to yourself, these ideas are so good I can just tackle them tomorrow. And tomorrow comes and goes, as does a month, a year, and then a lifetime. For anyone unfamiliar with Dragon Ball Z, let's run through a quick summary. Gohan, who is a young half Saiyan, is the son of Goku, one of Earth's mightiest warriors. In the Cell game saga, a tournament orchestrated by this guy, named Cell, Gohan is pushed into a situation that demands the full extent of his ability. This saga is crucial as it showcases Gohan's internal struggle between his pacifistic nature and the necessity to harness his rage and protect those he loves. Like young Gohan in Dragon Ball Z's Cell Game Saga, you are filled with doubt. You are filled with aspirations, but no actual battle experience. You're a shell of who you want to be, much like Gohan. Just as Gohan stood in the Cell Games arena, surrounded by powerful foes, doubting his abilities and grappling with a harsh reality, young men across the world face a similar struggle daily. Decisions, responsibilities, dreams to chase, and fears to confront are all things that as a human being you must go through to be the person you are. Much like Gohan, we are stuck battling these powerful foes. Jobs, relationships, family, and self-doubt. We carry a duty to the people around us that needs to be fulfilled. Much like Gohan, we must live up to this legacy we have in our heads. Sometimes it takes a catalyst. For Gohan, it was Android 16's sacrifice and his words of encouragement that got him over his fears. Gohan, let it go. It is not a sin to fight for the right cause. There are those who words alone will not reach. Cell is such a being. I know how you feel, Gohan. You are gentle. You do not like to hurt. I know because I too have learned these feelings, but it is because you cherish life that you must protect it. What's your catalyst? Maybe it's an event you've already experienced, or perhaps it's a pivotal moment that still lies ahead, waiting to shape your destiny. Whether you like it or not, this pivotal moment needs to happen. Without it, you aren't able to transform into the person you were meant to be. Here's the part that most men neglect, emotion. You have to have a key sense of emotional control to become the person you want to be. Anger, frustration, sadness are all emotions that are all right to have. It's only natural, but there's a difference between controlling your emotions and letting it run rampant. Dragon Ball Z as a whole teaches us many lessons, at its core, Dragon Ball Z teaches us that growth and struggles are all natural occurrences in life. It teaches us to confront our fears and value the power of perseverance. Gohan's story is a direct lesson on the value of nurturing potential with patience and care. Much like real life, we have a choice. Getting abs is really easy if you're able to have patience and care about your health. But abs become something really hard when you start complicating your diet, miss training sessions, and not value the power of time. Gohan is not a fighter. At heart, he is a powerful soul taught by Goku to value others. He had to go through strong adversities to become the Saiyan his father always knew he could be. And much like your own self-improvement journey, he did it all gradually and with hard work. The Cell Game Saga was a defining moment for Gohan as it instilled his inner self-belief, which is something that everyone should preach every single day. Affirmations like, I can do it, I believe in myself, I know I can succeed, are all positive things that allow you to remember your own worth. As Gohan fights Cell, he not only fights the big bad villain, but his own inner conflict. It's a great reminder that our biggest enemies are sometimes our own selves. Toward the end of the Cell fight, Gohan lets us in on one more lesson, the ability to channel your uniqueness. Every human being on this planet today has something special about them. It doesn't matter who you are. Every individual can make a unique contribution to the world. It's all about harnessing your ability and doing it. Gohan shows it by harnessing his ability and going Super Saiyan, but many people never take the opportunity to try. It's natural to falter in life, to hit snooze on your alarm, to waver from our chosen paths, or to question our very existence. But in those moments, let Gohan be a beacon. Remember his transformation, how he overcome his doubts, 
and unlocked his incredible potential. Everyone can have a Super Saiyan moment. You just have to allow it to happen. Thank you all for watching this video. I post daily shorts about motivation and a bunch of stuff that can really inspire you. I hope you can check it out as well as subscribe. Have a great day.